Hi guys, Johnny here from Putsy RC and um, today he's doing a review for the new Dial Props, Dial Props 5045 Bullnose. You know, you've probably seen the old Dial Props. Get to this side. It's the old Dial Prop. Nice, very strong. 5045 Bullnose Dial Prop, and there's the new Dial Prop. You see the difference? The new one's like a rounded off spoony effect, which is quite nice. The, um, <coughs> excuse me, the hub is get to show, a lot bigger at the hub here. I'll put that down, it's easier to do one and two. Nice and strong hub there. Now Surveilzone sent me um, five pairs, you can see one, two, three, four, and for the test I only used one set, two days of full flying, smashing with these props, and the props are still like, they've just come out of the packet. Let's get this into shot, there we go, still as good as when they first came out of the packet. I've already done the flight footage. <coughs> I'll show you this. Set me five sets. I've only used one set, so that's that covered. Um, the next bit to cover is the camera footage, the film footage that you'll see on the smash tests. The camera is did never come off. Let's turn this up on. Did did not come off this quad. So all the all the rolls you'll see on the camera. The quad is rolling with the camera. That's not coming off there. No chance. <coughs> um, leave it on so I can give you an overall weight. Just do the same. The overall weight for this quad tests is. Two hundred and sixteen grams. So we've got the put that out of the way. I've shown you the four packets that were left. So Bell's on only sent five. I just wanted to get that on camera so there's no always oh, use more than one set. Only one set of props we used. That's the second set and that'll be for the balance test. We'll just get a little weight of the prop and it is four grams. And the old one is four grams, so same weight. The difference in the feel is these are like the bendy but the slow slow to bend back sort of thing like like a, a softer plastic whereas <coughs> me, these ones are springy and like I've already said the hub is a lot thicker get that in to show there it's a lot thicker so Let's do the balance test straight from the packet. So you can see there's three packets left there, so there's no slight of hand. <coughs> I like to be very good in the review. And if the if if they were rubbish, even if they were sent for free, if they were rubbish, I'd say they're rubbish. Oh, I just won't do. I just won't do with the review. Oh, I'd like. I'd also like to thank Civil Zone for sending these. 
or a review. They did say to give it the full pudsy punishment. It's like waving a, waving a red flag to a ball, asking me to try smash on it. <clears throat> Try and get this done as fast as I can. I know you're all wanting to see the crash test footage. <clears throat> so many people like to see things smashing. I like to do the smashing. And a couple of things did get broke. I won't be giving it my full, full willy test if it didn't. Yeah, my broke. What did I break? A battery in the nares. Although the nares is a bit on and off. I, mean, I don't know what. I don't actually know what's wrong with it. Sometimes I work. Sometimes it won't. It might be power distribution. But to be fair, <coughs> it's prop three. And last but not least, prop four. On the um, crash, crash testing footage, not once did I have to bend the props back. I don't know whether they bent when they crashed and just spring back the self, but every single time I lined it up, it flew just fine. <coughs> There's actual flight footage after a crash, so you can see um, there's no jello because the, the props are uh, as the one when they come out of a packet pretty much. There we go. Balance test complete. <clears throat> so after all the crashes, and um, there's a little bit of flight footage, so you can see that there's no jello. I don't need to do that. There you go. There's a three packet still there. There's no jello, and there's no super anti-vibration. Silly little crap rubber grommet mounts on my um, footage I, I don't I don't need it if I've got vibration on my camera then I need to balance them and not worry about putting new grommets on so now we'll go to the flight footage thanks to surveil zone and thanks for watching
I'm missing a prop. I've lost a lock nut. <laughs> I don't believe it. Look at that. The nut's come off, but the prop's still there. And it's perfectly perfect. We pull this camera off. Damage. You can see the nose is not lighting up like it's supposed to. Think that's about. I'll have a look at that one again. Uh, damage report. Everything seems fine. I did tuck everything away nice and neatly for the full welly crashes. But look at that. Day two with these props. Sweet damage report so far one broken 1600 for sale and one lost prop nut. I'll let you know more when I get back.